Good morning, this is Pastor Jeff. We are here for our daily lectionary readings, which is for Monday, June 10th, 2024. With it being Monday, we're reflecting back on what happened at church on Sunday, and we also have our new psalm reading for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Our psalm reading is going to be Psalm 108, our Old Testament. We're still continuing in 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel 7, 3-15. And then our New Testament reading comes from the book of Revelations, chapter 20, verses 1 through 6. And we'll be reading it out of the message today. Let us listen in. Psalm 108. I'm ready, God. So ready. Ready from head to toe. Ready to sing. Ready to raise a God song. Wake soul. Wake loot. Wake up, you sleepy head son. I'm thinking you, God in the streets, singing your praises in town and country. The deeper your love, the higher it goes. Every cloud's a flag to your faithfulness. Soar high in the skies, O oh God. Cover the whole earth with your glory. And for the sake of the one you love so much, reach down and help me. Answer me. That's when God spoke in holy splendor, brimming over with joy. I make a present of Shishun. I hand out Sagoth Valley as a gift. Gilead's in my pocket to say nothing of Manasseh. Ephraim's my hard hat. Judah, my hammer. Moab's a scrub bucket. I mop the floor with Moab, spit on Edom, Rain fireworks all over Philistia. Who will take me to the thick of the fight? Who will show me the road to Edom? You aren't giving up on us, are you, God? Refusing to go out with the troops? Give us help for the hard task. Human help is worthless. And God will do our very best. He'll flatten the opposition for good. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of 1 Samuel 7, 3 through 17. Then Samuel addressed the house of Israel. If you are truly serious about coming back to God, clean house. Get rid of the foreign gods and the fertility godness. Ground yourself firmly in God. Worship him and him alone and he'll save you from the Philistine oppression. They did it. They got rid of the gods and the goddess, the images of Baal and Asherah, and gave their exclusive attention and service to God. Next, Samuel said, Get everyone together at Mizpah, and I'll pray for you. So everyone assembled at Mizpah. They drew water from the wells and poured it out before God in a ritual of cleansing. They fasted all day and prayed, We have sinned against God. So Samuel prepared the Israelites for holy war there at Mizpah. When the Philistines heard that Israel was meeting at Mizpah, the Philistine leaders went out on the offensive. Israel got the report and became frightened. Philistines on the move again. They pleaded with Samuel, Pray with all your might. And don't let up. Pray to God, our God, that he'll save us from the boot of the Philistines. Samuel took a young lamb, not weaned, and offered it whole, as a whole burnt offering to God. He prayed fervently to God, interceding for Israel. And God answered. While Samuel was offering the sacrifice, the Philistines came within range to fight Israel. Just then, God thundered, a huge thundercap, exploding among the Philistines. They panicked, mass confusion, and scattered before Israel. Israel poured out of Mizpah and gave chase, killing Philistines right and left, to the point just beyond beth -car. Samuel took a single rock and set it up between Mizpah and Shen. He named it. Ebenezer, rock of help, saying, This marks the place where God 
helped us. The Philistines learned their lesson and stayed home. No more border crossings. God was hard on the Philistines all through Samuel's lifetime. All the cities from Ekron to Gath and that the Philistines had taken from Israel were restored. Israel also freed the surrounding countryside from Philistine control. And there was peace between Israel and the Amorites. Samuel gave solid leadership to Israel his entire life. Every year he went on a circuit from Bethel to Gilgal to Mizpah. He gave leadership to Israel in each of these places. But always he would return to Ramah where he lived and presided from there. That is where he built the altar to God. Our New Testament reading, Revelations 20. 1 through 6. I saw an angel descending out of heaven. He carried the key to the abyss in a chain, a huge chain. He grabbed the dragon, that old snake, the very devil, Satan himself, chained him up for a thousand years, dumped him into the abyss, slammed it shut, sealed it tight. No more trouble out of him deceiving the nations until the thousand years are up. After that, he has to be let loose briefly. I saw thrones. Those put in charge of judgment sat on the thrones. I also saw the souls of those beheaded because of their witness to Jesus and the word of God, who refused to worship either the beast or his image, refused to take his mark on forehead or hand, and they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not live until a thousand years were up. This is the first resurrection, and those involved most blessed, most holy. No second death for them. They're priests of God and Christ. They'll reign with him a thousand years. And here ends our readings for the day.